When we looked at the default spacing of lines in the normal template, we saw that it was 1.08 lines. And that's something important to remember. You don't need to use whole numbers for font sizes or anything else. And that gives you a lot of flexibility when you're trying to reformat a document to fit in a certain space and to look nice in that space. So let's play around a little bit with this document. It's the Gettysburg Address and we can see that it's all using the normal style. And the way we know that is if we select all of the text we see that the normal style is still highlighted. If in fact one of these paragraphs was a different style, let's make this the no space style. Now if we highlight everything, you see the normal style is highlighted, but as soon as we go over and include that other paragraph and let go of our cursor, we see that nothing is highlighted because there's a mixture of styles that are included in this selection. So let's go back, let's make this normal again. And let's start out by changing this, the title, to a different style. Let's try title. Um, we might want to make it a little bit bigger and centered. Let's change this to subtitle. And, okay, let's go adjust the title. We'll modify it. We'll make it bigger. Let's go to like 36 points. That's about half an inch tall. And um, we want to automatically update anything in this document that uses that style so that they all change, not just the one we're on. And I also wanted that to be centered. So before I hit return, I wanted to say, oops, I want to go here, modify. Before I said OK, I wanted to center it. And good. We'll do the same with the subtitle. We'll go up here, right click, modify. We'll center it. And we'll make it bigger. Maybe half the size of the other. Looks pretty good. Now we want to change the normal text. And we can do that by going here, saying modify, and picking a different size. The other thing we could do is, before we change the actual style, we could select all of this and we can play around. If we just adjust this, can we slide it? We see, see as we go down here, we see it fills up the, the whole page, and that's really what I wanted it to do. So I want it to fit on the page, so 18 is getting a little bit too big for the page, just barely. Uh, so what if we did something like 17 and a half. We're going to type in 17.5, but I forgot to highlight it, so nothing happened. All right, let's try again. We'll select it all. We'll type in 17.5, hit enter, and now it all fits on the page. Um, we might also want to make this justified text. So if we here, if we go to this little icon here, that's the justified icon, which makes it a little bit bigger. And maybe I'd like a little bit more space after the subtitle. So I could go in here, I could either go and change the style itself, or I could just 
change it locally for that one line since that's the only paragraph in here but anyway go to pair format paragraph space after we'll up that hopefully that won't knock it off the page that looks pretty good now the real Gettysburg address was probably handwritten in a font that, or not a font, in a, their style. If it was printed, it would have used a font available back in the 1800s. And I have one font that was used a lot during the 17 and 1800s. And it's called Carlson. I don't have the Carlson font because you would have to buy it, but I found another one that is a variation on Carlton, looks very much the same, and has the ligatures that you need for a font of that age. So where is it? It's in here. It's called Wild. So that's more of a font that they would have used back then. And if you remember, back in the day, there were a lot of ligatures used. And ligatures are used when typesetting. You know, each character is a separate piece of type, but certain characters like FI together would be set as one type and the F and the I would be kerned into each other. And that was called a ligature. So this font has ligatures and to get to them, I would go to Windows, go to the character map. Here's the character map over here. It knows that I'm in the Wildwood font, so it came up with that. And here are the ligatures. So if I wanted to replace final FI with the ligature FI, I would put my cursor there, go here, and find the FI ligature. Here it is. And say select, copy, insert. I go back here, and I do control V to insert it. And It put it in, but it's in a different size, so I put a new line after it. So I'll get rid of the new line. I'll remove the FI. I'll make the ligature, which is a single character, the same size. See, it's only 13 at the moment. If I make it 17.5, um, which is what everything else is, So we can actually make this look more like a document that was printed back in the 1800s if we went to the effort of replacing all of the characters that ran together like, you know, remember all the S's looked like F's? Those are the uh, long S's that had their own special character that looked sort of like an S. Anyway, that's the way you can play around and you know, you don't have to use actual sizes. You can hand to it now. For some reason, we've lost this paragraph. What happened? Why isn't this the normal size? What happened? Did we not change the Oh, we messed up. Let's go back here, select everything, change it all to normal, change it to the font we want, change it to the size we want,
17.5 okay and now we have the spacing between it the way we want it obviously I messed up earlier on I made the change without actually changing this normal style but hey, you get the idea uh, we lost the uh, justify so let's make the normal style justified why not modify change the actual normal style of justify and that way if we added more it would be justified like that and as you see we still have the ligature here but you know obviously to make it look proper you're going to have to go change and insert ligatures all over the place so you'd put a ligature in your clipboard and then stick it in wherever you want it and then do each of the other ligatures that you want to insert. Anyway, that's how we can take a document and reformat it to fit nicely in the space we want it to appear in, in this case a page of text.